everyone and welcome to tonight's story time. I hope you had a fantastic day and I hope you have ready your fluffy blanket and your cup of tea. For tonight I chose Little Red Riding Hood. This is the cover of the book. And this is Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Little Red Riding Hood, who lived at the edge of a big, dark forest. Little Red Riding Hood had a grandmother who lived on her own in a cottage on the other side of the forest. There's Little Red Riding Hood and her house, her home. And this is the forest. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood set off to visit her grandmother for lunch, as she did every week. There she is, going to her grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood skipped along the path through the forest, but soon she became tired and stopped to rest under a tree. There she is, very sleepy. As she closed her eyes, Little Red Riding Hood heard a voice behind her. Hello, little girl. Are you lost? I'm not lost. I'm going to visit my grandmother, who lives in a cottage on the other side of the forest. Little Red Riding Hood replied. What Little Red Riding Hood didn't know was that she was talking to a big bad wolf. There's the wolf behind her. The big bad wolf wanted to gobble up Little Red Riding Hood right then, but he decided he would race ahead to her grandmother's cottage so he could gobble them both up for lunch. The wolf looks really hungry. <clears throat> the wolf ran ahead until he reached Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother's cottage. He knocked on the door and listened. Who's there? called a voice from inside. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, replied the wolf. The wolf opened the door and before Little Red Riding Hood's mother could even scream, he gobbled her right up. Quickly, the wolf put on her nightcap and glasses and tucked himself up in bed. Oh dear me, the wolf ate little Riding Hood's mother and now he is in her bed. When Little Red Riding Hood reached her grandmother's cottage, she knocked on the door and called out, Grandmother, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Come in, said a voice from inside the cottage. So Little Red Riding Hood opened the door and went inside. Little Red Riding Hood thought that her grandmother looked a 
little strange. So she switched on a lamp near the bed. There is the lamp. Grandmother, what big eyes you have, exclaimed Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, my dear, replied the wolf. There is the wolf wearing grandmother's <coughs> clothes. <coughs> little Red Riding Hood crept a little closer. Grandmother, what big ears you have, gasped Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to hear you with, my dear, replied the wolf. There are the wolf's big ears. Little Red Riding Hood crept right up to the bed. Grandmother, what big teeth you have, cried Little Red Riding Hood as the light glinted off the wolf's teeth. All the better to eat you with, my dear, shouted the wolf, leaping out of the bed. Oh dear, look at the wolf's teeth. Little Red Riding Hood screamed and swung her basket as hard as she could at the big bad wolf. The basket was very heavy and it knocked the wolf right over. There's the wolf knocked over by Little Red Riding Hood basket. Just then the door to the cottage swung open and Little Red Riding Hood's father arrived on his way from arrived on his way home from wood chopping. Little Red Riding Hood told her father all about the big bad wolf and how he had eaten her grandmother and tried to eat her too. Little Red Riding Hood's father grabbed the wolf, squeezed his tummy and out popped Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother. There's grandmother, who was saved by Little Red Riding Hood's father. Well done. Little Red Riding Hood's father was very happy to be back and grandmother was very happy to be back and she agreed to come home for tea at Little Red Riding Hood's house. Little Red Riding Hood, her grandmother and her father walked out of the cottage and pulled the door closed behind them. And they never saw the big bad wolf again. The end. The wolf was gone and they never saw him again. The end. I hope you enjoyed tonight's story time and I hope to see you next Tuesday. Good night.